Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Solve the following equation. 3x to the power of log 3 is equal to 4x to the power of log 4. x is a real number, and we're dealing with the real exponentiation operator. I thank An from Vietnam for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So when I first approached the problem, my instinct was to take the logarithm of both sides. I did solve for x, but my answer was incomplete and wrong. I only found one solution, and in fact, there are two solutions. So this approach directly is a mistake. The reason is that the power rule of logarithms only works when the base is a positive real number. But first you need to check the domain to consider the other cases. So first we need to check what happens if x is less than 0. In that case, we have a negative number to an irrational power and that is undefined for the real exponentiation operator. So we dismiss this case. But now, what if x is equal to 0? In that case, we have 0 to the power of log 3 is equal to 0 to the power of log 4, which is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0 is a solution, and I miss this case because I directly applied the logarithm to both sides. But anyway, we figured out that x is equal to 0 is a solution. Now we can consider the case that x is greater than 0. We can now apply the logarithm to both sides, and now we can use the power rule for logarithms. We'll bring log 3 to the front, and we'll bring log 4 to the front. So we'll do these one at a time. So we have log 3 multiplied by the logarithm of 3x, and we have log 4 multiplied by the logarithm of 4x. Let's now simplify this equation. Log of 3x is equal to log of 3 plus log of x, and log of 4x is equal to log of 4 plus log of x. So we substitute those in. We will now distribute log 3 on the left-hand side and log 4 on the right-hand side. Let's now group like terms. We'll bring all the constant terms to the left-hand side and all the terms with log x to the right-hand side. So on the right-hand side, we have log x and we factor. So we have log 4 minus log 3. And on the left-hand side, we have the square of log 3 minus the square of log 4. The left-hand side is a difference of squares, so we can factor it as the product of their sum and their difference. So now let's work from this equation. We'll divide both sides by log 4 minus log 3. Log 3 minus log 4 is the opposite of log 4 minus log 3, so these cancel out to be negative 1. So we have log x is equal to the opposite of log 3 plus log 4, but log 3 plus log 4 is equal to log 3 times 4, which is equal to log 12. We're getting close. So negative log 12 will be equal to log of 12 to the negative 1. 12 to the negative 1 is equal to 1 over 12. We now exponentiate on both sides, so we get that x is equal to 1 over 12. So there you go. For the original equation, we have two solutions. x is equal to 0, and x is equal to 1 over 12. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.